Hi everyone, I'm Susie Cohen, America's Pharmacist, and today I want to show you a tea that you can make at home to help support your immune system and help increase macrophage activity and natural killer cell activity and T1, T helper 1 cells and all of that good stuff that really can help you through the cold and flu season and, or coronavirus. Like, I, I'm not making claims, I'm just saying like this is really good for vitality and well-being and a lot of these herbs here are known to fight a lot of serious um, infections that can occur. So the first one you're going to use is Echinacea. I'm going to use a teaspoon of this. I'm sorry, I'm going to use a tablespoon and that's what you're looking at. And um, Echinacea is also known as the purple cone flower. It's good for indigestion and migraine, but moreover, it's been studied for its effect in diphtheria and septicemia, strep, typhoid, all kinds of serious infections. So this is really great for your immune system. The next one is elderberry. It's also known as Sambucus nigra, and in observational and clinical studies, this has been shown to be amazingly powerful. And an Australian study once showed that people who took elderberry before they got on the plane and flew overseas didn't get sick as much or for as long. So that's kind of cool. The next thing is orange peel. This is just the rind of an orange, that's it. And it contains a lot of vitamin C. It's gonna add a little bit of tartness to the flavor, which I like. And it also provides, like I said, vitamin C, which is known to support your immune system. And everybody knows that vitamin C can help with the common cold, but what you may not know is vitamin C is fantastic for your skin because it helps um, create and synthesize more collagen, which is what you need to look youthful. And then the next herb that I have is licorice root. So this has a wide spectrum. I can't get that out. So all I want here is two teaspoons of this. So there's one and there's two. I don't want too much because it's a little estrogenic and I don't want too much of that going on. But this is probably the star of this particular tea right here. It, because it contains glycerizin, and that's an active ingredient that is a super potent, broad spectrum, antiviral, antimicrobial, antimicrobial, antifungal, anti everything. It's going to kill everything except you. <laughs> so I like licorice root. And moreover, um, there was a study that showed that it could be beneficial with the SARS virus, which, if you remember years ago, the SARS virus is also a coronavirus. So there's many that's different than COVID-19, but if it can help against SARS, you know, that's great. The next one is astragalus root. This is great for prevention, not so much once you're sick, but, well, there you go. I'll just grab one. It's a, a root, and this is fantastic for so many things, including um, its benefits for preventing the common cold and seasonal allergies and all kinds of stuff. Now, I turned it on, that's why it's turning blue. It's gonna take a minute to boil. And if I was really gonna do this properly, I would put all of these in a pot and I would let it simmer. So I bring it to a boil and then let it simmer very gently for about, I don't know, maybe 15 minutes, 15 to 30 minutes. Then I would strain it and put it in a, in a big jar. That's how I would do it properly. But I'm trying to do it for a video, so I kinda want it to boil really quickly. So. We're gonna use this trusty little device. And while that's going, I found this rather interesting. There was a study that just came out from the UK that says over 30% of people will lie to their doctor about having symptoms of possible coronavirus. So, wow, I mean, even healthcare practitioners weren't sure exactly what they're dealing with when you go in because at least in the UK 33.8% uh, of Brits are willing to lie about their health status so I don't know how that's gonna impact their treatment but I just found that interesting and this is gonna come to a boil and let me grab the uh teas. I love teas. <laughs> so they're on my counter. There's some in here. I just don't like the cabinets. Milk this old bilberry. One day I'll do a uh, open cabinet tea video. <laughs> 
You can see this is starting to bubble up. It doesn't get too hot, it's kind of cool. And with this device, um, if I'm in a hurry, you can see it just boils within a minute or two. It'll eventually cut off. I'll just, I'll cut it off right here. I would normally, you know, just leave it in there and just let it steep and maybe take it to, you know, another room or my office and set it down on something. And then I would just pour it off like this. You can sweeten it if you want to. You don't have to. I'm a hardcore tea drinker, so to me this is awesome. And the flavor of the licorice root is really nice. The astragalus is pretty neutral. Um, this orange peel adds a tartness to it. Elderberry is like a berry. It's not, you know, not bad at all. And this is pretty neutral. So I think you would like this. And if you don't, you can always just put some honey or some sugar in it. And I would drink, I would drink one cup once or twice daily. And again, uh, if I didn't mention earlier, this will keep for about three to four days. And that's what I have for you today. It's my immune tea. It's completely natural, and I think it'll keep you safe and well through the season. I'll see you next time.